Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. I thought I re would record a quick video showing you how to set up a new file in Photoshop and also how to change the size of an existing um, template that you've got set up in Photoshop because I'm asked this question um, quite frequently. So if you go to File, New, you can create a new file or you can press Control and N on your keyboard. That's the um, shortcut. So we'll bring up this menu here. So this is the menu where you can choose what canvas or template or page size, whatever you want to call it, is going to be. So this one is currently at 12 by 12 inches. That's digital scrapbooking page size. If you wanted to change this to, say, letter size, you can type in the dimensions here. So letter size is US page size or 8.5 by 11 inches. I always leave my documents at 300 resolution pixels per inch in RGB color mode. Um, CMYK is for printing and I never use any of these other modes. Um, I always leave it at 8-bit with a transparent background. That means there's going to be no color on your template. Um, if you wanted to, you could make it white or you could choose a color. You can change this color later on or you can just create a new layer with a different color if you decide that you don't like it, but I prefer to just go with transparent. So when you're happy with the size of that, you can hit OK. But if you're going to be using this all the time, so you're always going to be creating something at normal page size, you can save it as a preset. So if you save it, you enter in your dimensions once, hit Save. I leave all these things ticked and then press OK. Then if you click this drop-down button here, you can choose from that preset that you just added. So you don't need to keep recreating and re-entering in all of these um, specifications from scratch every time you can just click your preset and hit OK. Now I've got a few presets saved in here so US paper will bring you to this as a shortcut or if you use A4 paper like I do because um, I live in Australia if you're wondering why my accent's a little funny. Um, if you live in the UK I believe that they also use A4 page size if you wanted to make it half page size, that would be 5.5 by 8.5 inches for a letter page size. Or if you were using A5 paper, you would just enter in your dimensions, save it as a preset because that is not um, currently in Photoshop's preset menu when you install Photoshop. So these are some of the other presets that I've added. So if I'm creating a, repeat, a repeating pattern, then I will usually make my swatch um, at this size. And then I've also got 5 by 7 inches and 6 by 4 inches if you're creating invitations, 2 by 2 inches if you were going to do labels or address labels or cupcake toppers or something like that. And I never use these ones. And if you want to make a new one, just hit custom and it'll give you this menu where you can type in your dimensions again. I don't change anything down here either, I always just leave that as is. So let's say I want a US paper. I choose that from my preset menu or I can enter in my dimensions and then hit OK. So now I've got my um, template. It's currently got a white background. So remember I said you can change the background if you want to. Just create a new layer, hide that background, select the paint bucket tool, and then you can pick a color from, um, if you left click, it, you can pick a color from this color picker, and you can add that to the swatches menu if you're going to be using it a lot. Or if you go to Photoshop swatches menu, you can choose from some of their many colors that they have available for you if you wanted a navy blue or a teal. Um, if you're going to be using the same color, then add it to swatches and it will appear up the top here in your swatches menu so you don't need to type in the RGB code or the six digit hex code. If you do know what the color code is, you can enter it straight in. So when you're happy with the color that you've got, it's going to fill your canvas with this color here, which is your foreground color. You can change it to your background color and make that one your foreground color if you want. Um, so when you're happy with your color, you've got your paint bucket tool selected. If you right click, yours may be showing the gradient tool. This is Photoshop's secondary menu, but you want to make sure that you've got paint bucket tool selected and then just left click and now your canvas background will be the color that you've chosen. So let's say that you've added um, some clip art or some graphics or other elements onto a template. So let's say you draw a circle. Um, if you wanted to use a different shape, you can just right click and it will bring out all of um, these tools. So the rectangle, rounded rectangle, and if you wanted to use a custom shape, you can hit this button here and then choose a shape from Photoshop's drop down menu. I've downloaded a bunch of free ones. Photoshop doesn't come with this many. I've got quite a few in here. Um, so you can download them from the internet or you can choose one of Photoshop's shapes. So let's just say that we drew an image and it is extending off the edge of the canvas. So you can resize that manually by pressing Ctrl T on your keyboard choosing one of the corners, left clicking and dragging inwards. 
or let's say you had this graphic and you now wanted to make your page size eight and a half by eleven um, sorry it's eight and a half by eleven inches at the moment let's say that you wanted to make it half page size so to resize anything um, if you want to resize the whole template if you want to resize just one thing you would do that I just did with the arrow where you press control T and then drag it in but if you were wanting to resize the entire template you would go to image canvas size so this is where you can change the size that you chose originally so originally we chose eight and a half by eleven inches but if I wanted to I could make this half page size which is eight and a half by five point five inches I don't tick this box and I don't change this I only change my dimensions if you want to use a different metrics so you don't want to use inches just click this button here and then you can pick whatever unit um, of measurement that you want to use and then when you're happy with the size just hit OK now this warning message is going to come up don't stress it's just going to say the new canvas size is smaller than the current one because we're going from letter size down to half page letter size so obviously we're shrinking it and it's saying some clipping will occur so all that means is anything that's with outside the boundaries of when it proportionally reduces it to your new size is going to get trimmed so don't stress just hit proceed so now if our clip art for example was showing like this where it's cut part of it off you don't need to worry if you just press control T with that layer selected you can left click and drag to bring it onto your new template or if for example you didn't it you trimmed it and this was all you saw you couldn't find your clip art don't stress just press control T again and it will find it for you it's probably just sitting off the edge of your template you haven't lost your design your graphic your text etc it's just hanging off the edge of your template it's just not visible anymore it's still there if you just left click and drag you can bring it onto your template again um, so that's how you resize a template in Photoshop